St. Bridget of Sweden is one of those women who, despite having lived several centuries ago, still has much to teach the church and the world. Much is known about the life of St. Bridget of Sweden. The spiritual fathers were so struck by her holy life that they immediately began working on her biography shortly after her death in 1373. Bridget, or Birgitta Burgess daughter, was born into a wealthy, landowning family in the earliest years of the 14th century. She was the daughter of a wealthy governor who used his riches generously. He donated money for good causes and helped the poor. He worked for the just and fair treatment of all the people. Bridget learned these lessons very early in her life. From the time she was just a child, she was greatly devoted to the passion of Jesus. When she was only 10, it is recorded that she had a vision of Jesus on the cross. She heard him say, Look at me, my daughter. Who has treated you like this? cried little Bridget. Jesus answered, those who despise me and refuse my love for them. From that moment on, Bridget tried to stop people from offending Jesus. When she was 14, Bridget married an 18-year-old man named Ulf. Like Bridget, Ulf had set his heart on serving God. They had eight children, of whom one was St. Catherine of Sweden. Bridget and Ulf also served the Swedish court, Bridget as the queen's personal maid. They followed her father's example of caring for people in need. It is said that she even arranged for a hospital to be built on their estate. The hospital was open to all. All her life, Bridget had marvelous visions and received special messages from God. In obedience to them, she visited many rulers and important people in the church. She explained humbly what God expected of them. After her husband died, Bridget put away her rich clothes and lived as a poor nun. She founded a monastery for men and women who lived apart but worshipped together. The religious order was known as the Order of the Most Holy Savior, or the Bridgetines. King Magnus Eriksson donated a little palace and land for building a new monastery. But almost as soon as she had begun altering the palace and organizing the work, Christ appeared to her and asked her to go to Rome and wait there until she got the Pope to return from France to Rome. Bridget headed to Rome and remained until the Pope returned from Avignon, France to Rome. Between 1309 and 1376, seven popes lived in Avignon instead of Rome due to the conflict between the papacy and the French crown. When Bridget learned of an epidemic in Rome, she stayed there to assist the sick and dying. While in Rome, she spoke out against the injustices she saw and worked to change situations that kept all people from living a good life. Her words and actions influenced government and church officials, even the Pope. Bridget was unsuccessful in persuading the Pope to return to Rome. Because of her inability to finish many things in her lifetime, she is known as the patroness of failures. One of Bridget's most notable contributions was her writings, The Revelations. In these texts, Bridget recorded her visions of Jesus and Mary. These visions not only included instruction on the creation of her monastic order, but also on questions of theology and morality. 
They also include vivid visions of the birth and death of Jesus. Bridget made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land to see the places where Jesus taught, died, and rose from the dead. During her pilgrimage, Bridget experienced Christ's presence in prayer visions. Upon her death in 1373, Brigida left the church influenced in several ways. Her daughter Catherine and a granddaughter went on to more fully establish the Burgettine Order of Nuns. The revelations were spread throughout the church and had several key impacts. They became the basis for a lot of poetry, prayer, and hymns devoted to Mary. Her letters eventually helped influence the papacy to return to Rome and influenced church teaching in Sweden. St. Bridget was a successful failure as she was canonized in 1391. Bridget, you were a woman of peace. You brought harmony where there was conflict. You brought light to the darkness. You brought hope to the downcast. May the mantle of your peace cover those who are troubled and anxious, and may peace be firmly rooted in our hearts and in our world. Inspire us to act justly and to reverence all God has made. Bridget, you were a voice for the wounded and the weary. Strengthen what is weak within us. Calm us into a quietness that heals and listens. May we grow each day into greater wholeness in mind, body, and spirit. Amen.